Well, we were looking for a leopard and we've stumbled upon a cheetah. And the, oh, uh, blacksmith lapwings were not impressed with having a cheetah around their waterhole, making lots of noise. Now, oh, this is quite exciting. We're here at the right time of the day. And hopefully he goes east from here. Not north, because the boundary is not too far away. They are such beautiful, beautiful animals. And such a treat to spend time with them. You can see it's hot and humid, and that's why he's breathing so heavily. Panting, panting away. And we haven't seen them in so long. You can actually see the claws there. And you can see how, unlike lion and leopard, uh, who are able to retract their claws, cheetah can't. Are we full? Okay. There we go. And also, the, proportionate to their, their, their sort of body size and weight, they've got very big feet. And this is also obviously an adaptation for that incredible speed they are capable of. And of course, we are being serenaded by monotonous larks saying, There's a cheetah. There's the cheetah. There, there's the cheetah. Remember, hashtag Safari Live if you have any questions about this beautiful spotted cat. Now, you can see those very distinct black tear marks down its face. And unlike lions and leopards that have lighter, almost white around their eyes, for trying to gather as much ambient light as possible, the cheetah has dark black, and that's to help refract the day, harsh light of the middle of the day. Now, they will hunt at any time. They are, like all predators, they are opportunists, but their favorite time to hunt is at dusk and dawn. They are crepuscular hunters. And you can see their he head is far more rounded and less elongated than the other cats. And that is again another design for speed. Of course, Mary and lots of other people are wondering whether the Cheetah Brothers have been reunited. Well, not, we haven't seen them reunited for quite some time now, well over a month, uh, maybe even a bit longer than that. So they might have, they might not have. We must remember, they spend most of their time outside of our Traverse area, so we don't get to follow them uh, as much as we would like. Uh, I can't really see how full he is, just the way he's lying at the moment. Hello, Logan. Uh, Logan wants to know, what is a cheetah's success rate at making kills? Um, they're slightly higher than uh, the lion and, and leopard, probably around 20%. But they lose a lot of their kills to other predators, hyenas, lions, leopards, wild dogs. will all, all chase them off a kill. I've even seen vultures chase cheetah off a kill. They are so finely designed for speed that any slight injury could put a real big risk uh, to, to their hunting. So uh, most times they will avoid conflict and rather run away, run away. <laughs> I think whoever came up with the saying, a scaredy cat, uh, was after the, seeing a cheetah take off after seeing a male lion. Now, if I was a cheetah, I would also take off. It's flipped over. I wonder which way he's going to go today. 
Uh, there are quite a lot of people who will want to see this, so we will stay for as long as possible. Now, a cheetah's top speed is about 110 kilometers an hour, and um, I can keep that up to about 500 meters or so, and not much longer than that. And, and Reese was wondering what is their accelerate, acceleration speed, and they go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in three seconds. So pretty quick. Uh, I don't think there's many high performance vehicles <laughs> would be that fast. What? Oh, there's a, a well, David Dave says there's a stronger Lolo walking past that cheetah. Yes, there it is. Definitely not as fast as a cheetah, but a cheetah is not going to try to eat that. Okay, well, we're going to move around to the other side of him. Would be lovely to see a female cheetah one of these days. Um, so they are highly nomadic until they have cubs, and when they have cubs, they, are, they do stay in an area for, for a bit longer. Now there's a strong possibility that Mr. Quarantine's also very close by. So who knows, maybe we could see two spotted cats in one sighting. The first time I ever saw a cheetah on that Safari Live was being, they were being chased. It was one of these, the, or there's these cheetah. Whoop. That's the fun about long grass at this time of the year. You can't see the stumps. Uh, oh, no, we're okay now. Thanks, Dave. You shouldn't complain too much. I hit a stump, you fall off. I could make you fall off. <laughs> There we go. Uh, not too hungry. <laughs> I love how flat they get to the ground. Of course, this is a one of their defense mechanisms to stay hidden and you can see how their head is often sitting up and it to another predator that's walking by at a distance it might just probably look like a, a pile of elephant dung <laughs> that rounded head come on spot some impala if you go the way you're looking there's often a herd of male impala Susan is wondering, what is the lifespan of a cheetah? Well, it's pretty similar to, to the, other, the other big cats, but normally a little bit less. So a male cheetah, 10 to sort of 13 years in the wild. Um, sometimes a little bit longer, sometimes a lot less. Now, the word cheetah actually originally comes from Hindi, and it means a variegated.